Some heroes are born, other heroes are made. Today, we will make this hero. This hero can turn a piece of paper into a work of art. His name is Scribbles and he is on fire. He's on fire? Scribbles is having a bit of time off to get better. So today we're gonna make a brand new Scribbles. Are you ready? Then let's get science. To make Scribbles, we're going to need small boxes, tape, a glue stick, aluminium foil, scissors, textures, a peg, a battery pack, and a three volt motor. These are probably the hardest items to find. Have a look for them in your local hobby shop or electronic store, or search for them online. The first step is to tape four textures to the inside corners of an empty box. Make sure they're nice and secure and choose the colors that you like the most. The second step is to cover the whole box with aluminium foil. Use some glue to stick it in place. You can skip this step if you want, but it does make scribbles look nice and shiny. The third step is to tape a motor to the top of the box and then attach a peg to it. Make sure the peg hangs over the side of the box. The fourth step is to tape the battery pack to the inside of the box. Make sure you tape it to the side of the box that's opposite the motor. Poke a hole through the top of the box and run the cables through it. When you connect these cables up to the motor and turn the battery pack on, it will start spinning the peg. Lastly, add Scribble's original logo to the front of the box and then give him a head by covering a smaller box with aluminium foil, drawing a face on it and taping this to the top of the box. And there he is, your very own Scribbles. Hey Beck, do these glasses make me look cool? We're gonna put Scribbles to the test by taking the lids off, putting him on this bit of paper and then turning the power on. So what makes Scribbles work? If you look closely, the peg isn't quite centered on the motor. As it spins around, the motor and scribbles shake up and down. This causes scribbles to push against the bit of paper and move along it, leaving his work of art behind him. Whoa, check it out. All that's left to do is to frame it and put it somewhere for the world to admire. What do you mean a little bit higher? I hope you had fun making your own scribbles. Please share your artwork with me on Instagram using hashtag SillyScience or tag me at SillyScienceWithSimon. I'll see you again in two weeks.